Okay, so I'm going to delete the uh, put uh, sorry put screencast keys on, then uh, delete the cube, and add a circle. I'm going to leave it the same scale it is uh, default, which means that the radius is um, is one blender unit or one meter if you're in metric um, diameter two meters. I'm not going to fill it with anything and just press tab uh, I'm going to select the bottom half of vertices and delete them then select the uh, the, um, the vertice right on the edge there press E to extrude then Y to extrude along the Y axis and then negative 2 so now you have it split up the archway in uh, into thirds so you have the uh, semicircle, the curve of the arch takes up one unit and then the uh, doorway of the arch takes up two units which uh, gives a nice balance but you can always extrude um, you know, more if you want a taller archway or a shorter archway. Uh, now I'm going to select everything pressing A and press F uh, control? Oh no, just F to um, to make a face and because we're using uh, n gons which is uh, multi-sided faces not just quads or tries you won't see any um, uh, pinwheeling or uh, vertice uh, within the archway but we're not going to leave it like that we're going to select everything again and press I I'm going to move my mouse until I see a uh, uh, a width of the doorway that I like. I'm going to select the bottom two vertices of the inset, uh, zoom in, press GY to grab and then move along the Y axis until they're aligned with the uh, very bottom edge. Then I'm going to delete the edge and then delete that edge as well. So now we have a uh, a, a archway. Now the tricky part here is uh, is this high vertice count um, curves up here. So what we're going to do is select the two uh, bottom vertices of the semicircle, duplicate them, shift D, and then GY1, and it's going to move them, if you can see, to the uh, corners there. Now I'm just going to go through and because we'll want to be working in tries and quads and not n-gons, I'm going to um, uh, select all these vertices and um, join them to the corner one. Now the, uh, the benefit of having those corner vertices is that say if you just use this archway without the corner vertices in a um, in a doorway you'll be having the same um, kind of tries but they'll be going all the way out to the corners of your wall of your house or whatever you're using it in so uh, applying them there kind of uh, uh, limits the uh, the topology to that area so now that we've got that that's pretty clean um, just to make it into quads, so we're going to have um, four vertices. I'm going to duplicate that one, GX negative one, and then GY one, and then do the same thing for that one. So GX one, GY one. Uh, I'm going to duplicate these bottom ones as well. GX one. D G X negative one, and now we have our uh, like a uh, our four points of a rectangle, and I'm just going to uh, join them up, and make a face, so that it um so that we have tries and quads, and select that. It may look a bit messy. But 
ultimately means that um, we'll be limiting the uh, the mess from um, affecting our topology of uh, building as a whole. Now I uh, okay. So now that's done. So now if you really just focus on the corners, you just have four corners here, um, which uh, it limits the um, like I said the messiness of the topology of the curve here from um, going out to say the corners of a building so if you want you can um, you know duplicate everything move it along maybe six units and then because you've just got the standard walls you can join them uh, say you want to make a uh, a uh, marker there or something um, so I'm just going to rotate the whole object 90 degrees RX 90 and then move it up two units so that the uh, bottom of the archway is on the bottom there now um, what we can do is pressing shift and alt and then clicking a vertice above should select the uh, edge loop so that path there nice and quickly um, I'm going to extrude it along the y-axis maybe one unit so that way we have a nice uh, interior archway for this one I'm going to do the same thing only uh, first I'm going to select the faces here of the archway uh, if it will allow me oh, there we go um, please select that now I'm going to extrude that out to about there so now we have two different types of archways we have uh, the interior and then the uh, doorway archway a uh, nice little feature of uh, Blender um, is of course beveling which is fairly new, well it works well and um, you can just press control B to bevel the, uh, the corners here and then scroll with the mouse uh, to add um, vertices to make that bevel smoother or uh, more like a chamfer. I'm going to make mine pretty smooth then I'm going to hit W and go shade smooth uh, for over here I might just add a bit of a bevel just so it looks um, just so it looks uh, not so rough really and then you can uh, select the um, the inside curves of the uh, archway and hit shade smooth as well and there you go you have a, uh, a nice archway on um, both sides using the same technique quite effectively Uh, whilst maintaining um, topology so you can now uh, say you want to uh, improve the house or whatever you can um, extrude walls out quite successfully Um, whilst limiting the uh, the majority of the topology here of the uh, tries just to this one little area uh, another method uh, 
that I'll just quickly show you um, to doing this. I'll just recreate the uh, face here um, so I can separate it and then use it as a uh, the way I used to do uh, like that faces in uh, in walls or windows or archways or doors was um, I would do it slack and I would um, I would use a boolean so I'm just going to select this face uh, extrude it so now we have like the inside part of the doorway there that fits in there I'm just going to use it to make a uh, a um, a boolean for this for this archway so I'm just going to um, select the mesh and apply boolean select Q.01 and then move it in there uh, what do I need? I need difference? no hmm. What it's meant to do is it's uh, meant to cut the mesh out, which I guess it is. But hey, you can see it anyway. Uh, I'll just go apply, and then I will uh, delete the uh, mesh that we used to cut it out. And you can see here that we do have the archway. Um, if I just want to select these faces here, but the uh, so you do have the doorway here, like we have on the um, the other mesh, the uh, one that we did manually. But the topology is really quite horrible. You have um, you have uh, tries going straight from the um, the curve of the semicircle of the arch all the way out to the corners of the building, um, rather than in here we have them contained to the kind of like the modular block of the archway we have the majority of them contained there and then minimized to there and then if you want further if you have a bigger wall or whatever you can just uh, like we have here we just have a, a quad um, but uh, if this wall was um, much larger uh, and extended out further or had uh, already had other walls in it and then you used a boolean to make a doorway in there the uh, topology the verts are going to connect to um, other parts of other doors and windows and it's going to become really messy um, and uh, uh, unmodular so you can't extend or change or uh, edit nicely so that's just see uh, if I extrude there or move that around you can change stuff around quite nicely um, yeah so that's just a little quick technique on uh, keeping your models clean and nice when using uh, archways or windows or doorways or insets or things like that for um, architecture or building so yeah thank you